Let's write again that expression that we have just derived. PV equals one-third NMU square bar. Now, using the ideal gas law equation, which is PV equals NRT, let's equate this to, we have one-third NMU square bar equal to NRT. Now, if we multiply this with the number of moles, 1 over n, okay, what we get is that this total number of moles divided by n is equivalent to the Avogadro's number, number of particles per mole of the substance. And so from here, we'll get one-third Avogadro's number mass u square equal to r t and this one is the equation related to our second goal which is the mechanical definition of temperature because here in this equation we have a temperature showing us that temperature depends on the speed of gas molecules at higher temperature gas molecules moves faster. Right. So now we have two of the attainment of our goals. From here, let's just derive two insights from this equation. What we do next is to derive the kinetic energy and relate it to temperature. Now, how, we do, how do we do that? Now, if you notice here in this equation, mass and u squared is together. And so from here, we can derive the kinetic energy. So what we do is we multiply this equation by 3 halves. So we have 3 halves times 1 third and a m u square equal to rt. And so we get here 1 half and a m u square equal to 3 halves rt. And this left side here is what we call the average kinetic energy of one mole of gas equal to T halves RT. Now, isn't this amazing? Why is this amazing is that the average kinetic energy of one mole of gas, if I write down average kinetic energy of one mole of gas, is dependent only on temperature. So temperature affects the kinetic energy solely Okay, from here, from here, if we multiply this equation, for example, with 1 over Na, what we get is 1 half mu square equal to 3 RT over 2 Na. Okay, now why are we doing this? Because this one here, one, m, one half mu square, is the average kinetic energy also of one molecule of gas. This mass here represents mass of one gas molecule. Okay, okay now we are starting to forget the bar there. Okay, now this bar is very important because this represents the average. Okay, so this is the kinetic energy. And this thing here, R over Na, is simply the Boltzmann's constant Kb. It's a constant. Okay, it's R over Na. And so we can simplify this as 3 halves times Kb, the Boltzmann's constant times the temperature. This now is another representation telling us the average kinetic energy of one molecule of gas which is similar to the previous one is entirely dependent on temperature alone okay. this tells us that kinetic energy of gas depends entirely on temperature alone and lastly okay from i want you to look at this equation okay. from here from this equation you see their mass in this side and avogadro's number in this side now, if, we, if I bring them side by side, what I'm getting is 
is the molar mass of the gas sample. The molar mass of the gas sample in grams per mole. Now, from here, I will be able to solve for the average square of the speed as 3RT divided by the M or molar mass. Now, this one is the last equation that we'll be deriving, and this is the mean square speed. This equation tells us that molecules move faster at higher temperature and lighter molecules move faster because molar mass is inversely proportional with the speed. This equation is very important in the succeeding lecture when we talk about the Boltzmann distribution of speed and Graham's law. Thank you for listening.